it's 8.40, so we go to the garden. Um, please tell me that I'm not the only one whose socks drawer looks like this. And who has socks like these. Basket. There. ready to go you know what the best part is about getting about um the best part about doing garden work in september ish or when it's autumn today is only plus seven so it's kind of cold and i absolutely love doing our garden work when it's cold better it, i don't mind doing it when it's hot and also the fact that i get to tan but doing it when it's cold is so much better i don't know why i just absolutely love it I keep looking up there and I should be looking there we go well we got the ugly old garden shoes and the ugly old garden jacket because ain't nobody gonna dress nice for going to the garden we got my wagon and my bucket and my gloves I almost need my whole house but we're ready to go Out of 10 rows, there's only two more left. And tomorrow is supposed to be frost, so we're gonna say our farewells to the cubes. They, they did theirs. Tim's saying the skittle. And now to the potatoes we go. Because we like fresh. No, some people say it's cold. I think it's perfect. I think it's fine. But I should probably put my gloves on because my fingers are free. <laughs> it's a huge potato. I am picking the Roma tomatoes. We also pick the green ones.
I bought some squash home to decorate our house a bit. I mean, look at how cute these are, but this is a pumpkin. Hopefully it'll turn orange in time. I'm thinking it will. Already got changed out of my very messy socks. But anyways, whenever we do squash and pumpkin, it's always important to wear leggings. I didn't last year and the leaves and the foliage make your feet feet itch and then on top of it after that when you when done and you're going for a shower it's even more painful so something important to know always wear leggings when doing squash pumpkin and any other work like that you will not regret it our work for the day is not done yet we still have to go cut apples and get garlic ready and prepped to plant in a couple of weeks so yeah that's our day today quite busy but I don't mind I'm just glad to be able to get to work to be allowed to go to work again and did I mention I am free as of today I am free somebody wants to come with us <laughs> always ready to go We then also had to pre-soak the hood overnight so that we can go clean it tomorrow morning. It's after 6 and I literally just got home a minute ago from the work that we had to do at 4. It took us a while. It was mostly the apples, the garlic didn't take that long. But we are now done with apples. I think, other than applesauce and juice. So the worst part about the apples is done with for this year and I'm not mad about it. Thank you. 
So other than us having to do the hood today, there is no other work today because today is the first day of school. So we have one te English teacher that comes from a nearby city to teach and then we also have some of our people are also teachers so and since school has started a few of the people on our workforce are in school we usually do our work after school at four but nothing's ready yet the tomatoes aren't ripe enough to um, do the last of the tomato work and we did apples yesterday so yeah but but Today is laundry day, so that is what my morning will consist of, doing laundry. We had Varsh and Knedel for Mittag today. Different trail today. Everything is still so, so very green, and it's already September. I don't know why, but I feel like as soon as September hits, everything is supposed to be yellow and orange and red. I guess it's not so. It's September, the pool is empty, so sad, everything is cleaned up, the days are too cold already, the nights are too cold, it's that time of the year when the pool gets drained. Oh man, <laughs> I will miss you. And of course it's fall. It's September. I had to bring out my boots. Quinoa salad, corn, this is just extra um, wrap, wrap filling, wrap stuff, and zucchini fries and a Tex-Mex wrap. Beans, beef, a sauce, avocados, good stuff.
It's legging season. Wear your leggings, guys. Otherwise, you're gonna freeze. And then work isn't fun if you're cold. These are huge. We are on our way to pick beans and plant garlic. I thought planting garlic was going to be in a couple of weeks. We were told that, but there's been a change of plans. I know we're also doing that today. That's fine. About 10 minutes into picking, this is what my gloves look like. It doesn't take much for the branches to rip them apart. But we managed. They're still fine around here. And we took ripe and ready tomatoes to the kitchen basement so that we can do more canning work with them tomorrow.
and this week's Thursday dessert, Thursday goodbye, <laughs> is apple turnovers, and they look so, so, so good. And then, here are the gluten-free, because we also have to make gluten-free. These are gorgeous. I decided to take the time. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I decided to take the opportunity to go for a walk before going back, before going to work at four. Maybe four, maybe a little bit, little bit before. We have um, tomato work to do today. And since I have a couple of hours before that, I decided to get out and enjoy the absolutely gorgeous air. And on top of it, it's hot today. The last couple of days it was cool, which was ideal, but today is hot, but still, I'm going for a walk. All this yellow poison ivy <laughs> and I'm walking right in the middle of it genius I'll have to go home and wash my feet with vinegar But I will say, it's pretty. Absolutely perfect three o'clock. <laughs> Absolutely perfect three o'clock snack. Nothing gets better than this homegrown watermelon from our own garden. <laughs> We are, oh, das ist einfach klischer, freezing peppers and doing tomato work of sorts. Well, from our garden, the peppers are to freeze for winter. We also made tomato paste. We put tomato juice into bags and then into a machine that wrings out any excess liquid. Otherwise known as hamburger. In the process, we put it through that machine to make it small. And then we put it in here to mix the pork and the beef. And then we bag it and put it in the freezer. And this is part of our morning. Got enough Fridays. This is also where we dry herbs. Most of them get put on a fan or put into the oven where they can dry and we can set the temperature, but yarrow, this is how we dry yarrow.
fun fact. We call these things baby cheesies. I guess because I don't know. We just always have called them baby cheesies. And honestly, I don't know them by popcorn twists. I know them by the name that we gave them, which is baby cheesies. Are amazing. My absolute favorite things. We got the three o'clock snack. And it's pretty good, I must say. starts that also means that the weekly Friday cleaning the school starts but this week we didn't have to because since it was only the first week of school the school is still fairly clean so the kids and the teachers did that and I'm thinking next week the girls are gonna start going and helping out like we usually do oh before I forget, next week I am baking again. So get ready for bread and desserts and a good week. And then after that I'm cooking. So it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. I get good food planned. But don't we always have good food planned? I think so. Ha, 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 ha.